I went on a Canada Temple tour of Karnataka State Road Tourism Development Corporation. I thought I must tell something about what I saw. It was for all, it was for all practical purposes three full days of visiting various temples in Canada. Uh, Canada would mean both South Canada and North Canada. Also called Dakshina Canada and Uttara Canada in the vernacular. If someone wants to embark upon an activity like this, what I'm going to tell will be of use and um, it will throw some light on what this is all about. It was a very interesting experience to start with, visiting the various temples of Canada. I don't know, suddenly I booked into Karnataka State Tourism Development Corporation bus. The 9th of 7th of April 2022, around 9 p.m., the bus left on the temple tour. Very nice bus, air conditioned bus, super deluxe bus, air conditioned. I got to sleep very well in the bus of Karnataka State Tourism Development Corporation. The tour guide was a man by name, Mr. Venkatesh, who did a good job in guiding people uh, through the tour. Uh, in many ways, uh, a memorable experience. First, we were taken to a place called Poranadu. Uh, I don't know if many people have heard of this place called Poranadu. Poranadu is in Chikmagalu district. Uh, there is an Annapurneshwari temple. Most of these temples where, where I went in Canada, the name of Adi Shankaracharya ebbs and flows everywhere. Most of these temples have their roots in Adi Shankaracharya. 8th of April is my birthday, and I found myself early morning after having a hot water bath at one five at a hotel where there was a sign. Walking into the temple, Annapurneshwari temple at Haranar. It's a rectangular structure, a fairly big temple with quite a few devotees. Then from there, we were taken some nine kilometers away. There's another camp temple at a place called Kalasa. Kalasa. I think it's a Shiva temple. Please check up what this temple is all about. This is a temple where they say that Ganapati is in the elephantine form. It's not in the human form, partially human, partially elephantine as Gajanan is seen. But here he is seen in a full elephantine form when you enter the temple. All these temples I found were very similar in their construction, possibly showing that they all emerged at almost the same time in history. From this temple, it was some two hours drive, we were taken to Sringeri. I have been to Sringeri temple before, but this experience of Sringeri, what I had, on the 8th of April, my birthday is something very, very memorable. There was a homa going on there where, where, where various religious pundits had assembled. There were two elephants who were blessing the community there. I felt truly really blessed to be in Sringeri at that point in time. That was on my birthday. Then I was led to the uh, dining hall where I had an exceptionally good lunch. Um, of um, It was as if my mother was feeding me those things. It reminded me of the variety and I could not have had a better birthday. That's why I thought I must record what I'm speaking. From Shringeri, the next stop is Kulu, Mukambika Temple in Kulu.
Am I uh, right? Yes, I'm perfectly right. Again, this temple has its origins to Adi Shankaracharya. From Sringeri, if you were to come to the Kulur temple, you have to come on the Shimoga Kulur highway, which the bus did. Um, bypassing a place called Nagara. Nagara, there's a fort in Nagara where Muhammad Ayaz Khan, the adopted son of, of um, Hydra, whose original name is Kamaran Nandiyar, was the governor. That is in ancient times. I could not see that fort, however, however Venkatesh, <coughs> the tour conductor told me, sir, we have taken a bypass, so we will not be able to see the fort, but we are very close to the fort, some 2-3 kilometers away from the fort. This road takes you to Kulur. See, this place called Kulur is um, below the Western Ghat Mountains. That means we have to descend the mountains on those roads. Uh, it's the same, the Western Ghat, the winding uh, Ghat roads which you find everywhere. Uh, from the top of the mountain, it's able to see this Kulur Mukambika temple. This is the 8th of April. The 8th of uh, April. Oh, it's a wonderful. Uh, yeah, well, by around 6:30, we were at the Kulur uh, Mukambika Temple. Again, it's a typical same kind of temple design and structure. Again, I must reemphasize. I must reiterate that all these temples largely came appears to me around the same period of time. It was very nice seeing the Kulur Mukambika Temple. Uh, when I came out of the temple, there was an there was an auditorium nearby where cultural show was going on. It's a very excellent experience. I, I, I sat there for nearly half an hour or more, seeing children performing various kinds of dances. And then the bus comes to Bindus, it's some 25 kilometers away, where we had to stay at a place called Ambika Palace in Bindu, a very, some kind of three-star hotel, very posh hotel, uh, around 10. But we had to wake up at 6 in the morning on our other leg of the journey. Early morning around 10, we are at, at the Murdeshwar temple, Murdeshwar Shiva temple. After a Bindur, we come to Batkal. After a Batkal is um, uh, Murdeshwar. I've been to Murdeshwar before. I've seen Murdeshwar in full splendor. But, so I, I sat in the bus. I did not go out of the bus, just marveling the sea. Around 12 in the afternoon, we leave Murdeshwar towards a very interesting experience what I had. A place called Kumbashi, Kumbashi, Aneguti, Aneguti, which is few kilometers ahead of Kuntapu, towards the Mangalore Road. Aneguti Vinayaka Temple. I was very happy when I saw this temple. Very large Vinayaka Temple, very well ordained temple. I saw the Aarti there very well performed. There was a large crowd and audience. Then again, I had a lunch there around 2 or 2 or 2.30 at the temple uh, dining hall. And then, a very nice experience. And then we were set to Udupi Krishna temple. Where again, I, stand, I stood in the queue. Definitely got a view of Udupi Krishna for a few seconds. Every, all these temples, I found them highly popular and with a lot of people eager to go through the proceedings. From there, we went to the Malpe beach for, some, for the evening. And then from Malpe beach to Katil, Katil, temple at Katil. Please find out what is the exact deity at this temple of Katil. Katil, Katil is very close. Please understand, Katil is a place in Mangalore city, near Mangalore city, close to Mulki, ahead of Kinigoli. I think it's on the Mulki Mudbidri Highway, if I'm not totally wrong. But it is close to Kinigoli. Kinigoli. It's a nice temple again. I saw I, I, I spent I went there quite late in the nights, around 8 30 or so, because I used to stay in a, we were put in a hotel close by. So we could go to the temple anytime. That is the 9th of April. Uh, 9th of April, we started at Mundeshwar, went at the end at Katil in Mangalore. 
please check out what's the exact deity at Katil. I don't want to make any wrong statement, which I'm not very sure about. Right, we stayed in that fairly good uh, restaurant. I forgot the name of the hotel. Very close to the Katil temple. Early morning 7, we set out to uh, see the Kadri Manjunatha temple, which I have again seen before. But it was nice early morning walking to the temple. And came to Mangala Devi temple, which I am very much well acquainted with. I saw film actor Suman there. Film actor Suman. Um, I think it's the 10th of April. Yeah, 10th of April, early morning, 10th of April. And I had a chat with Suman, film actor Suman. I used to see his movies for a brief while. I congratulated him for his role in the film Parashi Raja. He said that was a negative role. I said, well then, but you did a good job. Then from Mangala Devi Temple, the next stop is Dharmasthala. I wanted to see this place, Dharmasthala, very badly. Every time I travel to Mangala, I see some um, shrine board saying Dharmasthala. I don't know precisely where it is, but it's very close to the Mangalore, uh, uh, close to the Mangalore Bangalore Highway. There was a long queue. Again, here the deity is Manjunatha. This film actor Yash was there, though I did not speak to him. I, I did not come into close contact with him, but he was there. I just happened to see him. That's afternoon. I did not have lunch at the Dharmasthala cafeteria, though I went in dining hall, though I went in there. For some reason, I backed, backed out. I went to a hotel nearby and had a good lunch, an exceptionally good lunch. Around 3, we set out for Kukke Subramanya. Somewhere close by, not very far off, say some 30 far. Meanwhile, before going to Dharmasthala, we had a look at the Netravati River. Please find out again who is the deity in Kukke Subramanya. It's supposed to be a very important temple. Here, the temple, the, the most important aspect of the temple is an elephant that's very, very active. Um, it has a role to play all, uh, um, 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 at every instant. It is seen going out, seen coming in. Near the Kukke Manjunatha temple is the Adi Manjunatha temple, some half a kilometer away from there. I went to that place also. Oh, what was the greatest thing on that day? Uh, was that there was a temple nearby, which is the temple of Hanuman, where there was excellent bhajans being sung. I just sat there for the half an hour, wonderfully sung, beautiful temple. And near the parking lot. I was happy at seeing that. Of course, I think for all practical purposes, the tour is over. It's only coming to Bangalore. From uh, Subramanya, he comes, to the bus comes to the Bangalore, Bangalore Highway via Hassan. Early morning, I am here in Bangalore City. We started on 7th in the evening, 8, 9, 10, practically uh, 3 days, 11th morning I am here. Uh, sometimes uh, why I make the statement is that I could not have asked for a better birthday. I don't know why I, I think somewhere I felt my mother is guiding me through all this. I don't know why I check. I, I never expected 8th would be such an, 8th of April, such a fantabulous, a fantastic and memorable day because I spend my time um, largely in some kind of divine company, if you might say so, being blessed by two elephants on that day at Shringeri, seeing the home, having excellent food, at the Shringeri uh, uh, Temple Dining Hall. And in many ways, a very, uh, a very something that was long overdue. I got an insight. Well, what is the most uh, important aspect of this? If you were to get to see these temples in isolation, you will end up spending more money um, and um, uh, other kinds of confusions, local convenience. In this case, to DC bus, I did not find all those uh, hiccups. Only that you are moved, you have to move from one place to another place very fast. It is like a military operation. You just you cannot relax anywhere. But nonetheless, it was something worth uh, the while. And uh, anyone who thinks you must, who wants to embark upon such a uh, tour of uh, Karnataka State Tourism, I think it, it is it is worth the while. Thank you very much.